green acres is the place for me. Farm living is the life. Is that the way? I don't know how that goes. Yeah. I thought about singing it, but I'd have messed that up too. Hey, I'm Blake, and this is your tailgate talk. So I'm sitting next to a pond. I mean, everyone collectively says, duh, right now, I get it. So yeah, this is Lindley's favorite swimming hole. That's how country we are. Uh, she loves to swim here, and when, when we come here to swim, um, Mom is not a big fan of that, but I remember the first time Mom came here <laughs> with this, and uh, she about fell out when Lindley said, and I quote, all right, Dad, I'm going in. You watch for snakes. <laughs> yep, that's the way we roll. So Lindley loves to swim here, but she also now loves to fish here. And she was recently taken on a little fishing adventure um, by Mimi, who is her uh, adopted grandma, uh, a cousin of ours, and Julie, who's a cousin, and Allison, uh, another cousin. And they came down, and Haley, another cousin, and they came down here uh, fishing. And uh, Lindley actually caught a fish on her own. And uh, Mimi caught, bought her her first uh, big girl fishing pole, so she's got a fishing pole now. I'm telling you, folks, we live the country life and I love it. There's no other way that I can imagine raising my daughter. But this is not for everybody. I mean, I get it. Not everybody would thrive in this, you know, <laughs> environment. And there are elements of it that are sometimes difficult. Hey, I get it. No, it's not for everybody. Some people prefer the subdivision living. And hey, that's fine. Manicured yards and neighbors that you could reach out and touch their house. And that's fine. That's fine. Some people, some people prefer that. And that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Bottom line is, bloom where you're planted. What in the world does that mean? Here's what Paul would say in Philippians chapter 4. There's a verse that we often quote, Philippians 4, 13, and we use it for everything under the sun. Anything that we try to do, we say, well, I can do this because God's Word says I can do all things. Well, that's not exactly the context that Paul wrote that verse in because just a couple of verses before that, he said, I've learned to be content in whatever state I'm in. He said, I've learned to do with a whole lot or with little. I've learned to be content wherever God has placed me, to bloom where I'm planted, basically. Wherever God has put me, I've learned to find joy there. And then he says, and this is the reason, because I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Wherever God has put you, wherever God has placed you, he's put you there for a reason. And so my encouragement to you today is, Live in joy in that place. Bloom where you are planted because God will allow you to accomplish there what he has put you there to accomplish. You can do all things through Christ who gives you strength where he's planted you. And listen, I'm fortunate enough to be planted <laughs> right here and I could not be more thankful. But wherever he's planted you, man, bloom for his honor and glory. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today on the tailgate. I guess this is called a tailgate. I mean, it's really a, it's close enough. But until next time, I love you. Have a great uh, week and we'll see you next time on a tailgate talk. Yeah.